Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. And there are still a lot of Pokemon in this one cave. Also, I think there are a few Pokemon here that I haven't caught yet, possibly. I can't remember if I caught one of these. I don't think I did, so I'm going to check that. And I'm still probably too strong for this. But maybe if I use a Dusk Ball or something, a special ball just to see if I can catch it. Nope. That's fine. I'm also poisoned still, so that's a that's a thing I need to keep in mind. Ah, uh, dust ne nest ball, that's one. Since I'm a fair bit higher level than it. One, two, nope, okay, well that's the last one I had, so. Nasty plot. Special attacks sharply rose. Interesting. Can I please catch this? I'm running out of options. I could also use timer balls as the fight goes on. Okay, one none. Cool. One none. That's not good. It's fine. I'm gonna. The poison's gonna get me. So. Which might be alright because I can switch to a different Pokemon. Which is going to be pretty easier to weaken the enemy, so. Timer Ball, one, two, three. Caught, cool, nice. Poison Fire. That is another interesting one. There's so many interesting combinations. Anyway, let's get out of this cave. Unless a Diglett randomly appears, it's fine. I'm just gonna run. Get him. Okay, where else do I need to actually go? Because I don't know. I've explored a fair bit of this area, I believe. But I don't, I'm not sure how much is actually left to explore. There, I think there's a fair bit left. Possibly. I haven't gone to this tower yet, so I could do that. Also, I believe that the... What's the calls that you find in the towers? The Gimme Ghoul. Only are there one time. Possibly. So you should, you should either catch all of them, or... I don't know. Probably don't need to worry that much. There's quite a few towers. And I guess you could also trade with other people on new games, or have a second copy of the game and a second Switch. Just to trade with yourself if you need to, I don't know. I, th I don't think running out of Gimmigool is a problem that you should need to worry about, but... At least catch one. That's all you need to worry about. Why is this so high up? Like, this is a very tall tower. Usually it's just two levels, but no, this one's hi even higher. We're so high. So high! There it is. Do I want to switch Pokemon? Probably. Level up Axio a bit. Axio? I don't know. Mold Breaker? I still don't know what that does. I should probably actually check because it should tell me. Assurance? I don't like the way that it's on the ledge, but that's only because I've, I've been playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and I'm used to items just dropping out of enemies when they die. And I don't want them to fall off the edge, but that's not a thing in this game, so it's fine. Anyway. Level 33. Wants to learn Focus Energy. Takes a deep, deep breath and focuses so that the future attacks will have heightened chance of landing critical hits. That seems interesting, but I don't think I'm going to do it right now, so... It is interesting. We get 50 Gimme Gold Coins from that, which is good. Now, what do I want to do? There's a few areas that I haven't gone to yet. I want to go to this mountain if I can. I want to go all the way up. You, Nope. Going down. Going very down. There's a cave here. With an item. Cabos. Nice. I'll take that. Let's try going up this way. 
And the Voltorb. Ultra Ball. Random disappearing part of the world in the background. Heat Rock. X Speed. Ah, I'm falling. Why am I falling? Please don't do this to me again. Please land. Why are you stuck? There's so much ground. So much ground. So much actual platform to land on. It's fine. It's very nice being able to jump high. So can I go up higher or is this as far high up as we go? I feel like I should be able to go higher. But maybe that's a thing for later on. Possibly. I hear a gimmigal, so I'm assuming that's what's up. Further, if I can make it further up. Hang on, I want to move slightly over this way. Please. Backwards long jump. It's a bit difficult to backwards long jump and have the high jump at the same time. Okay, there's, there's my angle. Just need to get this right. Why? Why, camera? Why? Camera, why? Please just jump. Just jump. Thank you. Let's grab this TM. Body press. Let's get this gimme ghoul. Three coins. I guess I'll just go up to the very tip top of this. Look down on everything. Now what did, that didn't take very long to get up here, which is nice. There's a glowing down there. I think there are, like, all of the glowing terror type Pokemon that you just see around the world are actually set in certain positions. Which is interesting. Because, like, I can go to the same spot in the, the olive area. I think that Diglett will always be there. Basically, on each profile. Now the Gimmagool. Any Gimmagoolers? Possibly not. And here's something, though. Any gimme ghoul? No? Okay. I'll go down then. Cause maybe there's one... Here? Yes. There's also a trainer here, so let's do that. The traveling Pokemon Center here to- Oh, it's a- It's a Pokemon Center. That's interesting. Cool. It's pretty dry and dusty out there. Don't you get dried out now. That's just a random Pokemon Center here. Well, that would have been nice to know because it looked like the Pokemon Centers were so far away, but there's actually a Pokemon Center here, kind of. It's a it's a half Pokemon Center, but still. Also, there's a few things. I wish I could check from a distance on what the Pokemon are. That might be a thing later on, but I don't know. So... Let's just keep walking around for now. Getting hyper potions and super potions and elixirs all for free. Well, this looks kind of like an area I haven't explored yet. I might come back to that maybe. I've been, I've been, I'm trying to, uh, but I don't want to skip the stuff. It's, it's a difficult battle. I'm trying to figure out what stuff that I want to do and what stuff I want to do later on, and hopefully not forget. Get him. Please. Get him. You can also grab the item for me. Psychic Terrain TM. I don't think XU is gonna evolve anytime soon. Possibly. I, I haven't looked it up yet, so. I probably should, though. Please fight. Don't think there's a. No, there is a gimme ghoul up there. I couldn't hear it, but now I can. It's fine. Breaks the mold. Cool. I'm gonna check that quickly before I do anything else. Pokemon's moves are unimpaired, uh, impeded by the ability, or, yeah, of the target. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's take this gimme ghoul. Two coins. And some Diglett dirt. 
Hello. You blend in really well. I don't like how the uh, ability takes a, a, a second in the battle to actually tell you about it. But it's fine. Also, that looks like a team star thing right there. Wow. It's been a little bit since the previous team star thing. Not that long, but it feels like a while. Dragon Tail TM. Very nice. I might just quickly try and win some of these battles here. Should probably just be stop riding Karadon for a bit just to fight some Pokemon. Actually, wore itself out. Okay, cool. I've got some potions, luckily, from just wandering around. It's very chill just sending out your Pokemon like this. Why? I wasn't even. You weren't even here before. But you're just so fast that you just fight everything. And everyone. Well, so hello, guy. Which reminds me, there's a Pokemon in the Pokedex, if I can figure out which button that is. I think it's minus. To go there quickly. It's a Pokemon that we caught a while back, I think. Hopefully I can find it and have it not just disappear because of the weird way that the Pokedex seems to work. With it shifting Pokemon around. Come on, where are you? There you are. This Pokemon. The great thing about this is I'm pretty sure the thing above its smile is its is its eyes, not the things on the side. Because they act- the- the- the yellow bits blink. <laughs> Just in case you needed to know that, now you know. Also, I didn't catch that, apparently. So I don't know what I'll, I'm thinking about. It's fine. I don't think you're- okay. It's too much to handle, apparently. Also, he's just chilling. He's just standing there. It's pretty nice of him. 286. It's pretty good. If you just keep, like, turning your camera, you'll get more and more Pokemon to appear. Kind of. Also, is that what I think it is? There is a Gimme Ghoul here. I thought it was in the grass, though. But there is a Gimme Ghoul there, so I'm gonna take that. You got Moxie, kid. Thank you. I want to battle someone with Serious Moxie. Are you that someone? Maybe. Hi, Cassilia. What is this madness? It's a cool madness, but what is this madness? I need to evolve mine to this. If that makes any sense. Since I'm pretty sure I know what Pokemon that is, based on how it looks. So I'll just keep doing this, I think. I'm Defense? How dare you. It's Defense, Rose. But it's fine because we got a critical hit again. That's pretty good. Whiskash level up to level 40. Once on an earthquake, I will definitely do that. What do you what's the advice? Get rid of muddy water. 90 power. I kinda want that though. Over water pulse is the thing. So I'll get rid of water pulse, I think. And just use muddy water. Although it only has 10 power points. I could actually even get rid of Mud Shot, possibly, except that I kind of want Mud Shot. Because it's a, it's, it's, it's a special, rather than a physical move. So I'm going to do this, I think, and I'll change it later if I need to. Will I switch Pokemon against a Flareon? No, I will not. Flareon? Is another evolution of Eevee, using a Firestone to evolve it. Why can't I get the camera to go back to a good spot? I don't know. 
Oh, so there's another Pokemon still in this fight, so this is gonna be a, a long one. Longish one. 925 XP. Let's learn entertainment. Or entrainment. Use a dance with an odd rhythm that compels the target to mimic it, making the target target's ability the same as the user's. I don't really want that, to be honest. I don't even know what Pomo's ability is, so... I'm not going to be thinking that much about it. Hariyama? I don't know what Pokemon that is. I think I have seen it, but I don't remember which one it is. Oh, it's that one. Cool. Okay. Well, that's uh, probably Dragon Claw, but I might also Terrestrialize for this. Just to make sure I'm alright. Fake out. Actually flinched and couldn't move. That's a shame. Dragon Claw. Bulk up. Needs attack rose. And defense rose. Well, that's a shame for me. Let's try Dragon Claw again. Just keep pushing it. There we go. I win! You out moxied me. 4,640 Poker Dollars. That's pretty good. Also, I want to probably check something quickly, because I did get some more candy. So I'm just going to spend it all, probably. I'm really hoping for... The evolution, that's not happening. I also have rare candy that I could use. Except it's one of those items that have al has always been in Pokemon where you can just l like level up your Pokemon. And I never use it because I want to save it for a better time. It's a, it's a sad cycle. Anyway, let me head back down the hill. In this direction, because we're very close to the next Pokemon Center. As well. I mean, there are a couple of Pokemon Centers around that I haven't been to yet. But we're getting through this area. Almost completely, in fact. Everything here is so rugged. Seems rough, rough and rugged places like this attract a lot of hardy Pokemon, huh? Okay. Lorenzo the Student. Sent out Finion. And I don't know what's going to be effective against this. Let's just use Dragon Claw. Since that's a stab move. And good. Exactly what I need. Wasn't super... It, yeah, it wasn't super effective, but that's okay. Quillfish. Just going to keep battling. Dragon Claw again. I think it was a good idea to level up Axew the way I did. It's a much higher level now. Level 35. Some battles feel faster than others, I've noticed. Like, this one feels like it's been pretty good. But it feels like some other ones are a bit slow. Like the previous one. Wow, the trainers are hardy too. That's right. The money seems to scale with how long the fight goes, apparently. Not uh, not really, but that seems what, like what it is. Just because of how that went. Now, is there anything down here? Also, the music under the water sounded really cool just then. Just have to point that out. Anyway, there's a Gimme Ghoul under here. Why can't I go in there? That's so weird. Anyway. Fight more Pokemon. Doesn't seem like there's anything else down here. I'm surprised by that. But maybe there's a point at which we can dive underwater. 
I doubt it, but it might be the case, possibly. Because then there might be something down there. I, I, I still doubt it, though. Smooth rock. Add it in my... Put it in my rocks pocket. Okay. So I think I'm probably just going to go to this town then, I guess. Where was actually here? Is there anything here? No, it's just a t random town. Cool. I feel like it's been a while since there's just been a random town. Everything's basically- every place we've gone to ba has basically had something important, so. Heal my Pokemon. And there we go. Been having some nice battles. So far, you've defeated 12 trainers here in Area 3. Wow. Punching Glove, an item to be held by a Pokémon. This protective glove boosts the power of the holder's punching moves and prevents direct contact with targets. What's a punching move? We're holding this challenge for other in our areas too. Cool. I am winning. I'm surprised we found that many trainers in this area. That's cool. Uh, let's go to the sandwich shop so we can get some more recipes. No new recipes. Okay, cool. I would have thought that going to a new place would have unlocked more recipes, but okay. It's fine. It's just my feelings. Oh, so that's a cool area for a, a battle arena thing. Just gonna look around the town a little bit. I heard that. You up here? I heard that, right? I'm not crazy. I heard Gimme Ghoul. Right? I'm trying to be quiet to hear it, but I still can't hear it. Or is that just the sound that I make when I'm falling? No? Maybe it's just something else that I heard. I don't know. There's also some Pokemon on the map that I haven't got. But I don't know how to get those to spawn if they do spawn. I don't understand this game as much as I thought I should. Also, hello, random cave. And a full heal. Where does this cave go to? If anywhere. It's quite a big cave. By the looks of it. Dark Pulse TM. It's just an open area. There's so much area. So much area. We just exited an area and found a more area. And look at the map. See how big this area is. Also, that is how it's supposed to look. Okay, so this is area one. Or area two. But the, yeah, this is this is a whole area here. <laughs> there's just a, there's so much area. I haven't even finished that kind of area. Which I guess I could. I guess there's also a few bits of this area that I haven't explored. I think I explored most of that area there. I think I got all of this area. It's just so much. I'm I'm bad at this game apparently because I I want to touch I want to go everywhere. Ah, <sighs> but I also want to actually progress at some point. Did I go up there? I think I did. Probably. So I think I've actually explored pretty much all of this except for like there. Which I could do now, possibly. Although there might also be like that pit there or something. Or that there. I don't know. There's a few places I haven't explored in this area yet, but I'm, I'm very close to being completely done with it. Pretty close. I'm still leveling up, leveling up my Pokemon slowly, so that's that's good. Trying to bring them up to similar levels. Slowly. 
Also, there's a gimmick girl right here that I want, so I'm gonna grab that. While I work my way down this way. I really need to stop grabbing just the random sparkles on the ground, except that I... Never mind, I just found a firestone. That feels like a pretty good item to find just randomly. And a full heal, stardust, good selling stuff. Now, is this, did I already check this? No, because there's an item down there. That's how you know. If you see a random item that you haven't collected yet, it means you haven't explored this bit. Please grab. Thank you. Poker doll. Hyper potion. Now, is there a gimmick ghoul around here? Not that I can hear. So far. What's, what just happened? It just exploded. It's fine. Another trainer. Let's talk about me! Okay, you're about to lose. How about that? Hey, don't you think I'm awful cute? I also think you're awful at play Pokemon battles. Hey, Tana, the student. Sent out Lilligant. Mold Breaker, of course. Ah, uh, let's use Dragon Claw. Pretty good start. Mega Drain. It's not very effective. That seems like a good thing. This seems like a good matchup. For me. Breaking Swipe. Critical Hit. Vespa Quinn. Interesting. I don't think that was what that was called, but okay. This is the evolution of Combi, which has to be the female variant to evolve. Let's finish this off. And there we go. So yeah, let's talk about you. You just failed. I wish you'd show a little more respect for my cuteness. Nah, I'm good. Kind of too busy winning here. Anyway, let's grab some more stuff. A timer ball, nice. Oh, we're in trouble, it's fine. Just need to heal my Pokemon. Also, why am I walking so slow? I think there's too many Pokemon on the screen. It's fine. Let's go down here quickly before going up into that cave. Item. Max Potion. Another trainer. Seems to be a lot of them in this area. Also, we're on the other side of this river now, and there's a... Dragon... Terror Raid battle over there. I'm tempted to go check that out. It'll at least have that island done, so... Seems pretty good. Also, we can swim fast. That's good... to know. Ah, go up, please. Just jump high, high jump, high jump, jump high. Ah, it's fine. Drain punch. Nice. It just doesn't like me trying to jump while moving forward. Because it every time I touch the slope, it just, I fall down. Dive ball. Well, that's a another Pokemon that I don't think I have yet. Over here. But I might just leave that possibly because I think I have the pre-evolution for that probably. Anyway, dragon type. Pikachu. Dragon-type Pikachu. Interesting. I don't think I want that, but I'll fight it, so. Dragon-type Pikachu. In it's so interesting. I want to see it. Show me the dragon Pikachu. The all-powerful Dragon Pikachu rises. It's pretty big. Also, what's with the background face? What's with the background face? You know? Because that that's not a Pikachu. 
I don't think. Oh no, maybe it is a Pikachu. It's just the white of its eye that I'm seeing. That's a very up close camera angle of Pikachu's eye. It just makes it look like it's something else entirely. Well, I'm good, so I'm just gonna not catch. Go into the void, Dragon Pikachu. We'll see you again one day, maybe. But now I get some extra candies to use. It was very convenient of that Dragon Pikachu to have some candies on it. Level 36, wants to learn Dragon Pulse. 85 power, 100 accuracy. Generated by the by the user's gaping mouth. Advice? Wants to get rid of assurance. Interesting. I'm actually gonna probably just get rid of Breaking Swipe, except that lowers also the their attack stat, which is interesting. Um What does Assurance do again? Hang on. Also, the advice changed. Why did the advice change? Why does the advice change? Why? Why? If the moves... Yeah, that's an interesting one. I think I will just replace that. Also, hey, look at that. Axio is evolving. <laughs> my, meanwhile, my Rotom phone in the background is just floating. Evolved into a Fracture. I'm pretty sure this isn't even its final evolution. It's still got another one after this. I'm surprised it has that much. As one thing. Considering it's already level... 30-something? 30 38? I'd have expected it to be fully evolved by now, basically. Compared, compared to other Pokemon. Now, I'm gonna keep that on my team, I think, forever. Also, I didn't check the typing of it. Hang on. Nope, hang on. I can buttons correctly. Just Dragon, okay. It really depends on if it gets a second type. I really wanted to have a second type. 